Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lokesh and today I'm going to share with you an open source commentary driven browser automation platform which is going to blow your mind that is not only replacing Selenium like languages in Python but also encouraging developers to contribute openly in open source Gen AI code bases. So let's get right into it. <laughs> This is the website. The platform is known as Automa. It is basically a browser extension that can automate your routine tasks like searching keywords in a Google platform or scraping Instagram hashtags or some kind of followers list or you can scrape through tweets using Twitter and different different bunch of platforms. So this is basically used not only in just scraping through your leads in outreach but it can actually automate your routine tasks like if you for example we have been in outreach system scraping through leads and scraping through keywords for automating our outreach system but sometimes we also need particular hashtags to use in our instagram posts for better reachability so we need good amount of hashtags and keywords for our content and to make our website rank higher it can automate this task too so let me walk you through it this is currently available for only google that means uh, only on chrome and firefox this is not yet available on ios so we have to wait for it first let me go through github code the github code is entirely open source you can contribute to its code base and it is a very good opportunity for our dev community also because now you can also show your gen ai expertise through contributions in these coding spaces and it will help you a lot in your resumes too so i would personally recommend to my followers if there are any devs please do contribute in it and make this a best platform for automations i will highly recommend it this is the whole github repo and these are the contributors as far as now and you can look around it you can poke it and play with it and now let's go through the website the website is pretty simple this is the entire workspace the best part is that it is entirely driven by community most of the scrapings or the automations in this marketplace have already been developed by its own community members if we go through the marketplace the all these workflows have been made by its own community members it has a good community support and a good resource hub blogs documentations and tutorials and also you can go through their youtube channel to at least know what the feel is like and how to automate your workflows it directly clutches with your github and so you can actually import some of your automations or a workflow if you have in a json format you can directly import through your github into its workspace and you can play around with it because it is basically built on python top line so basically in python we use selenium and chrome browser extensions to trigger and automate workflows using key mapping and recording them Basically, this is similar to lat, but we are not using any coding substances or statements, but we are just dragging and dropping into the workspace. It has an extension. I've installed it. This is the extension of Automa. And here are some pretty basic automations. This button right here is used to record when we go into this home dashboard. This Here's the whole dashboard and this is element selector. If I click on it, you can select a particular specific element and you can check its class path in Selenium. When we use these elements, we used to copy the X class path into a code base. So it is particularly similar to that. It copies the X path or the attribute path and it also shows you a bunch of different attributes in, for example, the you can say CSS stylings in HT because our web pages are transmuted into HTML and CSS for us to be in a presentable manner and to scroll through it. So if we select an element through it, it can also give you the CSS styles and you can also select which type of CSS selector you want. If you select this whole nav bar, it will show you the element and its classes. This is the HTML selector. 
So these are the bunch of workflows. You can have shared workflows. You can have local workflows. You can create a new workflow. You can plan how to automate your workflows at a particular time or a particular interval of your day or weekdays or a month packages. If you have any, you can import, you can make new packages. You can import through GitHub. The workflows are here. If I go in Google search, a simple workflow. Here, the workflow looks like this is a mapping area where you can see the entire workspace. It involves hosting, saving, host the workflow for public to see, show the workflow. It is tables, databases, global data. If you have any variable, a particular variable in which you are triggering an element through its class path, you can curate an entire global data database and it will skim through it and execute the workflow accordingly. If you have any bugs, you can go into testing mode and you can execute it entirely. This is the trigger execute workflow bunch of options. So if you have seen my bot press video, you would have uh, gotten a gist of how these workflows work. So it is particularly similar to that too. You just come here, sign in and just drag and drop your cards and notes and you connect them and perform a bunch of tasks you want. The advantage of it that it can also go through your Google Drive, shared folders, sheets, log data and skim through it and edit through it. For example, this is a Google search cube. So if I click on it in trigger and I click on this edit button, it shows parameters. There are no parameters because it's just a tr simple trigger. But if I click on it, it says new tab. And when I click on this edit button, it shows new tab URL. When the trigger is executed, it will go to google.com and it will set that as an active tab. Then it again goes to forms. If I click on edit, it shows CSS selector name is equals to Q. If I click on selector options, these are the selector options, multiple weight mark element, get the form value. When the form opens, it means the search bar or the search box in which when we open to a Google website, there is a text field in which we have to type. So it will click on that so that we can type in that text field and then it will execute the next workflow of that search button and we will automatically searching a particular element. Here it is name is equals to Q. This will set automatically. Then click element. This is the path of that search button. If I go back here and if I click here, see this is when I type something here, this search button comes here. So we have copied the search button bar into that so that we can particularly enter that button on a type of some word. If I save it, and let's say go back and go back from here. This was it. And let us click execute. See, it opened it accordingly and it is automatically typing automa extension and it clicked enter. And now the Google search is executed. So you can automate different, different routine tasks, Google keywords. You want to search through a particular keyword or an array of keywords. You can just club them up and search through it. You can extract hashtags through Instagram. You can map and record each and every step. For example, if I show you, I want the same thing to be done. I will go on a new workflow. I will name this Google search. Click here. This is the trigger. Automatically it is done. I will click here and I will go search new tab. Here it is. New tab. I will connect it with it and I will enter it and I will go www. Let's say simply google.com. Google.com set as an active tab. Now Again, I will go here and I will select the parameter of active tab, new window, proxy, take a screenshot, get the tab URL, click element, get text. Here it is forms. Connect it with click enter and there is element selector. Now I will click on this. 
I will go here. I will type Google dot com. Here it is. And now I will click on this and I will click it and I will select element. Now it, it has been text field and the text has been selected. Text field value. I will give let us suppose. Uh, let us suppose. Here. Now. I will go back. If I say it has been saved, yes, it has been saved. Now I will select click button so that we can execute an element click. I will take here. I will put it here. Now we will go inside it. We will click on this and we will click on this search button. Select an element. Okay, already the element is selected. So we don't need to actually. We need to copy the X path. Select element, it is done and let us save. Now, if I execute it, it should execute it properly. Yes, it clicked here. It is now YouTube channel and it's done. Since uh, it, I, I clicked on this, so it is not going. But if I go here and I select it here again and I select this. And I select this and I save it again and let us execute it one more. It will click it again. It will go here and it will, it will click that element again. So it is not happening. Uh, maybe I would have. OK, I haven't clicked it again. So it is moving at back. So you basically understand how this is going to work. These are a uh, simple tasks. You cannot type in a particular keyword and you can search for it. Then you can extract the whole page and transfer it to a table and then you can export into a CSV format and then you can use it to formulate your content through chat GPT. So it will automatically automate your whole routine of content formation or you can take through RSS feeds and you can then pull whole a bunch of keywords and hashtags and then fill it up through Google Sheets and then again go to chat GPT. So this is basically the gist of it. Hope you would have uh, loved it. So hope you would have loved this and if you want me to make reviews and curates more such platforms for you all do let me know in the comments down below and i have linked all my resources code bases in the community in products tab i will link all the links to those product tabs in the description below also the links to this platform and all github links will be given in the description or in the comments below that means it will be pinned in the comments below and if you want me to know about anything any feedbacks or if you want me to make a tutorial on a specific automation for example it mean can be a make automation or a podcast automation or an entire infrastructure automation you just let me know and i will work on it till then bye bye take care keep hustling